Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And have you ever wondered how to get rid of Indian meal moths? Well, today's video will be doing a product review and test of StoreGuard 2 glue traps, as well as testing out the insecticide spray of PT565 plus XLO. So stay tuned. Today we're going to be testing StoreGuard 2. It is an Indian mill moth trap. It has a pheromone that will attract them to a glue board in there that's folded up that can be placed in locations where you're having issues or hung in a room, uh, just kind of depending on what's available for space and need. So we've got a live Indian mill moth that we caught at one of our jobs and we're going to turn it loose and see how long it takes for it to move into this sticky trap and see how it functions. So you can see the coloration on the Indian mill moth um, has the alternating white in between the, the darker colors, kind of a red brown color um just turned this one loose so it may take a little bit to orient itself and figure out where it needs to go it seems to be rerouting we'll find out soon if it's towards the attractant or if it's just random circulation and wandering but it does seem to be on a pretty defined course for now and it's wandering back so perhaps not Usually these are much more agile and better flyers. I'm assuming this guy's a little beat up from the catching and the transport, which may be affecting his overall behavior. go at it with this approach towards the glue board. If he circles off again then it seems to be constantly circling kind of towards it but not necessarily going for the attractant. This isn't terribly uncommon and doesn't mean that the product doesn't work and this is why especially in stored product pest situations we tend to use a multifaceted approach just because not one single facet is going to be adequate for complete population control. So um, we've definitely seen a lot of success with the store guard as we put them in uh, locations where we're working with Indian mill moths and they'll typically have a lot of activity inside of them and have lots of moths captured which is going to reduce the ability of those to expand the population obviously. But for some of the others, we have another product. In this case, we're going to use PT565 Plus XLO. Um, this is a pressurized aerosol contact insecticide. So you can see that it is uh, labeled for various types of moths in there. So we're going to give it a go here and see how long it takes for it to uh, take effect on the Indian mill moth. Correct. Yeah. So you can 
can see there was an immediate reaction by the moth there. And typically with this product, it doesn't take a whole lot of time for it to run its course. Although he wasn't moving well before, it's definitely a lot more jittery and struggling. You can see the impact of the neurological interference um, taking immediate effect and inhibits their ability to just perform uh, normal bodily functions such as flying, walking, navigating, etc. Um, typically they can feel it working on them, which is unfortunate, but they can you know, make the efforts to try and get away. So you'll see those spurts of movement as they try to, to make effort to get away. And a lot of times that can play into your favor as you're trying to control a population as a whole because some of the more erratic behavior and flittering is gonna allow them to contact other moths and uh, spread that product, especially if they're back in cracks, crevices, harder to reach places as they move before it uh, completely takes its toll on them. Uh, typically they're gonna have a little bit lower dose, a lot lower dose if they come in contact with a residual spray or partial spray instead of a complete direct contact, but Timing in between motion seems to be getting less and less so just a few minutes in and we've got near motionless Indian mill moth. Uh, we'll let this sit for another 30 minutes to an hour, come back and check on the progress and see where we're at. Well, we're back about an hour later and about the only progress has been the moth has flipped over onto its back. Um, still in the same position it was as far as you know, distance traveled. So uh, just some very minor twitching going on at this point. It's safe to say that uh, the insect is not going to survive. It's not going to recover from this and is done. So for quick knockdown and getting rid of things quickly, uh, PT-565 will definitely do the trick it is a solid product it does have a smell to it so beware of that you'll want to keep the room well ventilated otherwise it'll definitely burn the nostrils and uh, leave a gross taste in the mouth but it does what it should well as you can see it sometimes takes a combination of different products and different strategies to get rid of pests in your home like the indian meal moth and so while in this single test that we did the store guard two glue traps didn't work out that great uh, in combination though with the pt565 plus xlo it worked very well to eliminate the issue of the indian meal moth so again that's why we recommend reaching out to a pest control service like us at rove pest control to get rid of different pest issues in your home because sometimes if you try and buy individual products for yourself it necessarily isn't always the best solution and sometimes it can take a combination of different products to get the desired result of getting rid of the pest issues in your home. So again, this is why we suggest reaching out to a pest control service for all your pest control needs to help complement and supplement the pest control activity you're doing on your own in conjunction with what a pest control service can use because they have a lot of opportunities to use different products, different treatments, like in this case of using multiple treatments of the glue trap as well as the insecticide to get rid of this pest issues. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share and then subscribe to our channel as well to get the latest pest control tips and techniques to use to get rid of pests for your home. So if you do have specific pest issues like the Indian meal moth, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then also, if you happen to be a first time customer, you can reach out to us at rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get $50 off your first time service with us. And then again, we can help you out with any pest control needs that you have. So once again, thanks so much for tuning in. But again, to get those great discounts as a first time customer, head to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off. Thanks. We'll talk to you more soon.